Hey guys, so today I am here with a Halloween collab with a normal bunch of ladies that I do the collabs with. All of their channels will be listed down below. If I sound like I'm rushing, it's kind of because I am, because I am on my lunch. Um, baby pony is behind me, awake also, so we've got that to contend with. What this is, is a Halloween collab where we're to pick 10 polishes. Five polishes are trick polishes. Five polishes are treat polishes. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to get into the trick polishes first. And the first category was effect. So for effect, I picked Sinful Colors Cloak and Swagger. And this is an effect because it is a textured polish. And it's kind of like a... Uh, grapey brown I don't know what color it is you know me with colors I just don't know how to describe them so but here is one coat of cloak and swagger so yeah it's kind of a purpley brown base mm -hmm, whatever okay so next one up is an ugly pretty and this was a category added for Claire because we know how she loves her ugly pretties and this one here is definitely an ugly pretty. This is Magic Mushroom from Enchanted Polish and it's a real murky green brown with a green and pink shimmer. And there it is on the brush. And here is one coat on the nail, on the swatch. It's an enchanted polish, so of course it has a great formula. Um, I recommend if you can get any of these, sign up for her, uh, um, her mail list and jump on the bandwagon. I love my enchanteds. It's aggravating sometimes because you can't get the colors you want when she does a restock, but eh, well, it's all fun. So next one up is Gruesome Halloween. And for that, I picked China Glaze, but of corpse. Because it's this, it's not ugly. It's really not ugly. Um, it's not gruesome. The polish itself, just the name, is gruesome. But of course, this is a texture also. It's a um, kind of like a metallic-y green texture with some matte black glitters in it. Um, I guess it's supposed to represent zombies. Um, I don't know. Whatever it does, it's pretty. I like it. Next one up is to be monster inspired. And me for monster inspired, I picked Starly's The Headless Horseman. Um, because number one, horse, hello. And number two, who the hell wouldn't be scared of a headless horseman coming at you? This is a beautiful green shimmery base with orange and yellow glitters uh, yeah I saw this and I had to have it um, I can't remember if she restocked this or if I asked her and she actually made it for me I don't remember but I'm either way I'm thrilled to have it next up is the fifth one and this is a polish that tricked you and this polish here is new and it tricked me and it tricked a lot of people this is essie's uh dressed to the 90s and from outside it looks beautiful with this shimmer it almost kind of looks purple but guess what on the inside it's actually like a blue and when it dries you don't see that shimmer all that much so this one kind of tricked me so here is oh it is purple I'm sorry so that part didn't trick me there's something out there that's blue and it's looks purple in the bottle but this one here it tricked me because I didn't see none of that shimmer it's not it's highly not that apparent 
So that was my five tricks. And of course, I will put a second coat on these. Um, treats. Now for treats, we have fun Halloween. So my fun Halloween is that you're going to hear baby in the back because she's being vocal. <laughs> my fun Halloween is this one here from Funky Fingers because it glows in the dark. I'm not a big glow in the dark polish fan, but I thought this will look nice over grays or whatever. And this is called Are You Afraid of the Dark? And it's a gray tinted base with fluorescent yellow and matte black glitters. So I don't know how much it's going to show. I mean, you can get this opaque in three, four coats maybe. Because, yeah, I mean, the base is tinted. So hopefully next time around I get a little bit more glitter. But that is Are You Afraid of the Dark? Next one was costume inspired. And I picked um, Alchemy's Ghost in a Bottle. Because mm, ghost costume. This is a beautiful white crelly with some shimmer in there. You can see the shimmer. And matte black yellow, orange, and purple glitters. Here it is on the swatch. I do enjoy this one. <laughs> Next is a holographic. For my holographic, I picked ILMP's Black Orchid because it's just a deep, dark, vampy color. And it's beautiful. So here is one coat of Black Orchid. I don't think my lighting's that great today. It seems like it's a little dull. And if it is, I apologize. Uh, next is candy inspired. And of course, I'm going to pick a jelly. This is L'Oreal's Lolly Jolly. And of course, how could you not think of like a red lollipop or like a red Jolly Rancher? Mm, you ain't going to see much on the brush because it is sheer. But here is one coat of Jolly Lolly. Not sure where those little glitters are coming from that are popping up on there, but whatever. Lastly is Pumpkin Inspired. And this literally has pumpkin in the name. And this is Darling Diva's Pumpkin Queen. And this is a full-on glitter. Sorry. Lid stuff. And this has all kinds of glitters in there. Gold, green, blue, yellow, uh, squares, hexes. And here is one coat of Pumpkin Queen. This one is not meant to become opaque. Okay, so there are the first coats. I'm going to go ahead and pause and show you the second coats. Okay, so I did go ahead and put the second coat on. Now let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, so first one up is the Simple Colors, Cloak and Swagger. Next up is the beautiful Magic Mushroom from Enchanted Polish. This is China Glaze, but of corpse. You can see it also dries down, kind of matte. This is Starly's The Headless Horseman. This is Essie, dressed to the 90s, and see, you could see barely any shimmer. This is Funky Fingers, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Alkalemi, uh, Ghost in a Bottle. This is ILMP's Black Orchid, and I really need to break this out and wear it because uh, that's freaking gorgeous. I wish you guys could see just how beautiful that is. Here is L'Oreal's Jolly Lolly. And lastly, we have Darling Diva's 
pumpkin queen. So there are my 10 picks for my Halloween collab. Um, everybody else will be linked down below. I do apologize that I was kind of rushed with this. Um, but that's the way it goes now. You know, you got a job, you got a baby, you got to do it all. So now I got to get off and run the vacuum. <laughs> so it never ends. So I just want to thank y'all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, and have a very happy and safe Halloween. Bye.